Hi, hello, how are you all? Welcome to my channel Law Made Simple with me Vidya Reddy. Today in the Labour Law series, let us move to another uh, topic, Maternity Benefit Act, which is also a social security law which is passed in the year 1961. So this is the benefit availed by the women. What is this maternity benefit? Maternity leave in India is a paid leave of absence for work that allows women employees the benefit of taking care of the newly born and at the same time retain their jobs. As such we know India is a developing country and the first maternity leave act was established way back in the year 1961 and it is called Maternity Benefit Act 1961. This act ensured women employees get a paid leave of 12 weeks post delivery for taking care of the newborn. This act applies to establishments with more than 10 employees. This act applies to women employees on the contract, permanent basis or engaged with agencies. The current employment scenario has changed and we have a significant chunk of female employees taking jobs. The Maternity Act was subject to change due to social and economic changes and in the year 2017 there was an amendment and this act is revised as an Maternity Benefit Amendment Bill Act 1969, uh, 2017. The act extends to whole of India to all mines, plantations, shops, establishments and factories either in an organized or unorganized sector where the workers are more than 10 people. So on any day preceding the 12 months the, the, become, the establishment should have more than 10 people. Anywhere woman who has worked in the establishment for more than 80 days she is entitled for this maternity benefit. Who can avail these maternity benefits does all women or only few women all women who are employed in any capacity directly or through an agency either on contractual or as an consultant can avail the benefit who are pregnant or going to give delivery to a baby so what is the eligibility for woman employee to be eligible under this act she should have completed working for 80 days in the current establishment in the last 12 months and what is the duration of the maternity leave? The Maternity Amendment Bill 2017 has extended the 12 weeks leave to 26 weeks. And the pregnant employee can bifurcate this leave as post and pre-delivery leaves. 8 weeks she can opt for the before delivery and, and the remaining she can opt for the post delivery. So for women expecting the third child the maternity leave is allotted only for 12 weeks. For the remaining two first two deliveries it is for 26 weeks. So what is the maternity benefit before the ex, uh, expected delivery? Maternity be benefits should not be availed before the weeks from the date of expected delivery. Critical illness post maternity. Pregnancy is a complicated process and could be a life threatening too. So the maternity leave amendment bill allows the benefit of one month for women who are suffering from critical circumstances like premature delivery, miscarriage and medical termination of pregnancy. So apart from this 26 weeks, a one month of uh, extended leave is granted to those women who are suffering from some critical uh, uh, illness like premature delivery, miscarriage and uh, termination of pregnancy. Maternity benefit to adopting mother and commissioning mother. So a woman who legally adopts a child below the age of 3 months or a commissioning mother. Who is a commissioning mother? A mother who has donated her eggs to another woman. She shall be entitled to and her employer shall be liable for the payment of maternity benefit at the rate of average daily wage for the period of her actual wage. So every day wage should be given to during her absence. The period immediately preceding the day of her delivery and the actual day of the, her delivery and any period immediately following that day should be considered. And provisions for crash facility. Every establishment with 50 or more employees to provide crash facilities within a prescribed distance. The woman will be allowed 4 visits to the crash in a day and this will include the interval of her rest, rest intervals also. So the option to work from home, any employer may permit a woman to work from home and this would apply if the nature of the work assigned to the woman permit her to work from home. This option can be availed of after the period of maternity leave for a duration that is mutually decided by the both by the employer and the woman. So for the option to work from home, the employer and woman has to sit together to discuss how, how long she has to go and do the work from home. Informing women employees of the right to maternity leave. 
Every establishment should intimate a woman at the time of her appointment of the maternity benefits available to her. Such communication must be in writing as well as electronic writing. So what is the penalty for contribution of this act? If an employer fails to pay any amount of maternity benefit to the woman who is pregnant and for being absent during those days, she uh, he will be punished with an imprisonment for not less than three months and it can ex extend to one year and also a fine of rupees 2000 and may extend to rupees 6000 or with both. So, uh, they have to be some norms under the maternity leave. The, both the employer and the employee should bind to it. The act states that the employer should not give a pregnant employee difficult tasks including long standing working hours 10 weeks before the delivery such that it might affect both mother and child. The employer should ensure the health and safety of the female employee and mandates that she should not be involved in any work 6 weeks following the delivery as well as the miscarriage. The law also states that the employer cannot dismiss or discharge a female employee during the maternity leave period. In an establishment of 50 plus employees, a crash facility is to be provided by the employer. When the female employee comes back to work after maternity leave, she can avail for the crash facilities. The act also permits the leave for the female employee to visit four times during the working hours, including the uh, including her regular rest intervals. If an employer doesn't adhere, to the maternity act there are several repercussions and a penalty of rupees 5000 or an imprisonment from 3 months to 1 year or with both can be uh, be a kind of punishment as such we have come to the end of the session it's riddle time please answer the riddle in the comment section and please like comment and subscribe thank you so much